hey everybody, this is Rockin' Spirit Jen, and today I'm going to show you a very darling craft that you can make in a day with very little supplies, some you might have on hand, makes a terrific birthday present, Christmas present, Mother's Day, friendship, whatever you want it to be, or even for your own home. So I've taken some scraps of just vintage sheets and muslin and linen and just extra fabric that I had around and I shred them into little one and a half and one inch by six inch and seven inch strips. And then I just got myself some little buttons at Walmart, some little pearl beads at Dollar Tree, some leftover yarn that I had, a little bit of wire from the hardware store, and this is a, a galvanized wire, and some chicken wire, pair of cutters, some scissors, and then I opted to have a can of spray paint and then a piece of wood that I found out on our property uh, that I limbed off a tree. So with that, this is the finished product and this is going to be a Christmas gift. What a great way to use up all these excess pieces of fabric that are just stacked up in bins in a basement waiting for something creative to be made out of them now what a darling little craft and these sell for anywhere from 40 to 150 dollars on etsy so why not just take an afternoon and a few bucks you've got a beautiful decorative hanger and so what i did is i took these metal hangers and i just untwisted it and then I formed it in the shape of a heart. Then I made a template out of craft foam in the shape of a heart, and that's what I used to mold this around to get the shape of the heart. Then I took the chicken wire and I cut it the size of the template to make that heart shape out of the chicken wire, and I just had to manipulate the wire a little bit to get it to lay flat, so you just kind of tweak it until you get it to be a flat shape. And then I put it onto this and I used just a little bit of floral wire that I got at Dollar Tree and I used it to secure the chicken wire to the hanger. But I did it loosely because I went around the perimeter of that heart with the chicken wire and I used yarn to wrap it and that covered all the edges so that you don't see silver chicken wire along the corners of the heart. So you can see where I've wrapped that. Plus it covers up any chicken wire that might want to poke somebody. But I used some dykes to trim them short and I used pliers to really curve that wire around the hanger so that it wouldn't be pokey. Um, and then you just take these strips and I folded them in half long ways. And I ripped this fabric. I just took and I just cut inch strips and rip them up the length of the fabric to give this nice rustic shabby edge and then you just take and you fold it in half lengthwise you put it through the chicken wire like this just put it through the hole and then just like you were tying a knot you just tie a little knot out of that which is not easy to do one-handed but i think i can do it and you just pull it taut and you make a nice little knot and you'll make it really tight and basically what you want to do from that point is you want to tie it you want to make sure that you don't see any silver wire and as you can see i've got it pretty nicely covered you really don't see much of any wire you just keep tying and tying and tying hundreds and hundreds of these little strips until you don't see any more wire and then once you have all that done then you just kind of fluff it and you kind of trim it with some scissors to make a nice heart-shaped edge get the stragglers off and then i embellished it with this little beadwork that I got at Dollar Tree and I just cut those into long little strips and then I just tied them in there, little knots and then I took some yarn and I took these little buttons and just sleeved them on the yarn 
just to give it another little rustic fun element. And I just tied that in. Then I took this galvanized wire here and I cut it into three strips and I braided it. So it gave this beautiful loose braided look to it. And I just sprayed it with a little bit of bronze spray paint and let it dry. And then I, like I said, I got this stick that I scrubbed really, really well so that there wasn't any uh, mold that was growing on it from sitting out in the elements. And then I oiled it with olive oil to give it a nice, rich color. And then I just looped this wire around the edge of the heart and then wrapped it around the wood. So, and then that's the finished product. How gorgeous is that? And sky's the limit on the colors that you can achieve and the looks. You could do grays and blacks and whites with a splash of turquoise or this peach color in it. Pinks and creams and whites and off-white, that would be beautiful. Different shades of blue. I mean, really, you could do whatever you have and just kind of match the colors, which is what I've done here. As you can see, I've had some old vintage sheets that I just shredded up. all kind of in the same color scheme. And then I took some brighter pops of color like this. And then I had some of this linen here. And you see it's just a nice color pattern. Looks very nice together. Just beautiful. So I'm very thrilled. I hope my mom loves it because I so wanted to keep this for myself after I made it. I made it for myself first knowing how much I love the color pattern and then that way I know it's good enough for her. So with that, God bless, make it a great day. Do some fun crafts like this with your winter time and see who you can bless. See you on the next video.